This tutorial is going to go over uh, exercise 916. So you have to download your instructions. Um, some of you might have zip files, but you need to have the two files that are in that zip file, retail stores dash 2 and store directory. You need to have those saved on your computer somewhere. So you can either right click and save target as, or you can open them and save them somewhere. But you need to have them saved and you need to be able to reference them. So I'm going to click on my start file to get started. And then we are going to get started. So we're going to set um, a 2 inch margin. So we're going to go to page layout, custom margin. By this time we should all be getting the hang of this. Two change the top and left to 1.25 um, then it wants you to see the current date so again you can go into date and time put in the current date um, and then include an and then include an enclosure notation. So I hit enter twice and write enclosure. Okay, so now it says position the insertion point at the end of the document. So we're going to hit enter once, and we're going to go to the insert tab, and we're going to go over to object and click text from file. This is where you're going to want to remember where you save those files and you want to go to the retail stores to file and hit insert. Okay, now it's a position insertion point at the end of that document, which it already is, and do the same thing for store directory. Okay, so locate the text. There are 24. So we have to go back and look for there are 24. There it is. And insert a next page section break. Please note that this is definitely different than a page break. So you want to go on the page layout tab, go to break. You want to go to uh, here's your section break. So you want to go to next page. In the new section, which is now here, uh, you want to Key the title, and I already have it printed. Or, oops, that's not it. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Now we have the title in there. So you want to use bold uppercase text. So you just want to go and bold it after you type it in there. I want you to center the title under the paragraph group, and increase the font size to 14. And then it wants you to add 24 points after. So you just come over here. To the spacing option, line spacing options, and after you want this to be 24. Okay, perfect. Okay, now it wants you to insert a next page sec section break after Pennsylvania stores. So we're looking for Pennsylvania stores, and it wants you to do it before that text. So you want to go to page layout break, next page section break. Now, it says, they call these now sections, so um, in order to see your sections, you can turn on your formatting marks, and you'll see this is now section 1, this is section 2. So it wants it to you to format section 2 so it's vertically centered and landscape. So we're going to change the orientation under page layout, and we want it to be landscape, and then we want it vertically centered. Okay, so we want to make the second page or section um, to have a vertical alignment. So we want to go up here to Page Setup and Page Layout tab. And you want to go to Layout. And you want Vertical Alignment to be Center. And click OK. Okay, so we are now on... Um, you want to set 
uh, margin, change the top and left uh, bottom margin. I'll let you do that. Select all paragraphs below the title and change the spacing to um, 12 after. So the spacing again is up here um, under the home group paragraph group. And you want to change this uh, line spacing option after to 12. Okay, perfect. Okay, go to section three. So down here is my section three. Insert a page break before Ohio stores. So again, now you're going to insert a page break. You don't have to actually go to um, the section break. So you want to hit page break. And you want to also do one before West Virginia. Uh, change the margins. I'll let you do that. Then you just save it and you submit it. If you have any questions, please ask your instructor. Thank you.